China announced missile tests and military drills encircling Taiwan, and Chinese ballistic missiles will fly over the island for the first time, hitting a target area in the sea east of Taiwan. China is responding to the event that U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi became the highest-ranking American politician to visit Taiwan in 25 years. Based on a statement from the Chinese government, six exclusion zones encircling Taiwan have been designated to facilitate live-fire military drills from Thursday to Sunday. Most importantly, the exclusion zone on the east side of the Taiwan island is for conventional missile firing exercises, highly likely involving Dongfeng family ballistic missiles. That means some Chinese missiles will, for the first time, fly over Taiwan and land on the other side of the island. Also, some of the areas cross into the island's territorial waters. It is very obvious this is the most dangerous military action near Taiwan in decades. The military actions highlight the risk that Taiwan tensions could exacerbate existing supply chain interruptions. The Taiwan Strait is the primary route for ships passing from East Asia to the rest of the world. In this water, almost half of the global container fleet and 88% of the world's largest ships by tonnage passed through this year. And Taiwan is one of the world's most important microchip suppliers. Pelosi has met with Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen, and said in a statement that her visit in no way contradicts longstanding United States policy and that America continues to oppose unilateral efforts to change the status quo. China condemned Pelosi's speech that indicates the congressional delegation's visit to Taiwan honors America's support. China, in response, announced it would conduct missile tests and military drills starting on Tuesday night after Pelosi's departure from Taiwan. China indicates that the country will take all necessary measures to resolutely defend national sovereignty and territorial integrity, and all consequences must be borne by the U.S. and the Taiwan Independence Forces. The latest Chinese military exercise plan is unprecedented and is a result of a previous unspecified military response announced by officials if Pelosi's visit materialized. President Xi Jinping told President Joe Biden last week he would resolutely safeguard China's national sovereignty and territorial integrity and that whoever plays with fire will get burned. John Kirby, a spokesman for the White House National Security Council, said the One China policy is still valid from the U.S. point of view. And he insists that the White House will make sure that Pelosi has a safe and secure visit. Based on a Chinese official statement, the Chinese Eastern Theater Command will be the focus of exercises around Taiwan. In response, Taiwan's military will have no choice but to try to match the Chinese activities, which is a huge burden for its relatively small forces. It is also likely the Chinese military will cross an unofficial center line in the Taiwan Strait. The Chinese military is to initiate joint exercises of sea and air forces, followed by air ground assault, firepower support, and other combat training. Interestingly, although the White House claims it will provide support for Pelosi's visit, the Washington Post and Time magazine both published opinion articles to criticize Pelosi. Both articles point out that it is reckless and unnecessary to have such a visit. Some believe that American consumers will feel the impact first, as both Taiwan and mainland China are important suppliers to the American consumer market. After these exercises, China might tighten its grip on the Taiwan Strait by formalizing some military activities in this area. If the U.S. does not use all of its resources to oppose this attempt, China will almost certainly dominate the strait and conduct air and sea landings, eventually taking over Taiwan as the Chinese government has promised for decades. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news.